left you in the exact same spot this morning. Have you even moved? If you're trying to make a point, I just want you to know that it has gone right over my head. Any new leads on a job? You ever looked at the money that can be made at these video game tournaments? We're talking hundreds of thousands of dollars. I mean, if you're willing to invest a couple years into the process. You've been sitting there so long, you're literally wearing an indent into the couch. Oh, oh yeah, I almost forgot. I actually have a, uh, a job interview lined up tomorrow. That's great! What are you gonna wear? You know what? You only get one shot at a first impression. So I'm not leaving anything up to you. Now, what color tie? Presidents wear red, but the royals wear purple. I'll throw something together. We'll spend the afternoon prepping responses to any questions they might ask. I've got my opening line all figured out. Tell me what you think. I'm Joe. I don't have a degree. I haven't held a steady job in over six months, and well, the anatomy of my body is currently more Cool Ranch Dorito than man. What's the job anyway? It's some nonprofit in town. They save the dolphins or something. But hey, a job's a job. Where are you off to? Hanging with Alex. How is he doing? I don't know. I haven't hung out with him yet. Still a little odd. You remember his high school paintball club? Of course I remember the paintball club. Miss Bremer never did regain sight in her left eye, huh? Hey, I've got one friend. I can't be too picky. Hey, is this your car? Yeah, what about it? Uh, you're kidding, right? You're parked way too close to me. I can't even get my car. Relax, I'm in the lines. Uh, no you're not. The lines are more of a suggestion anyway. Look dude, I don't have time for this. I have an interview in, great, five minutes. An interview? What kind of interview? None of your damn business is what it is. Look, just do the world a favor and learn how to park in the lines. Mm. Nah. If I knew how to fight, I would so fight you right now. Ugh. You ever notice how no one smiles anymore? Where's this coming from? Well, I just smiled at that lady and she didn't smile back. Why'd you smile? That's creepy. It's not creepy. I was being nice. I smiled. Nice people do that. People don't smile at each other anymore, Joe. Well, isn't that a little rude? I mean, I held up my part of the deal. I smiled. How hard is it to return the courtesy? You know what? I'm done smiling at people. Frankly, it's, it's not worth my time. Screw it. Screw them. Uh, uh-huh. Anyway, I need to ask you a favor. So you know my grandma's moving into a new house, right? Um, yeah, sure. Well, it's turning into this whole thing. My grandpa left some boxes in her front yard and she needs someone to come by and help put them inside. You know, I've always wondered why people bother getting divorced. It doesn't make sense if you think about it. I mean, you're gonna be unhappy alone. Why not just be unhappy together? Yeah, so can you come help remove the boxes or what? Hold on. Where do you fit in this whole thing, Alex? I'm at work all day. You know that thing some of us do? Come on, it's gonna rain tomorrow night, and I know you've got nothing better to do. If you can believe it, I actually have a job interview lined up tomorrow. No kidding, that's great. Yeah, it's uh, some nonprofit in town. But I gotta tell you, man, I'm desperate for this job. Well, good luck with that. So that interview couldn't take longer than 30 minutes. An hour tops, right? 
Yes, I'll help your grandma move the boxes. Thanks, man. Be there tomorrow at noon. Nana will be so thankful. Okay. Is that it? You need anything else from me? Nah, that's it. Joe, David would like to start your interview now, please. Okay, confidence is key, confidence is key. Don't think about every other job interview you've had. This one will be different. Have a seat. Let's just get this over with. Um, okay. So, uh, what, uh, what aspects of our nonprofit appeal to you? The sea life rehabilitation, cleanup efforts? Well, I'll be honest, I'm a Patriots fan, so I, I know better than anyone all the help the Dolphins need. <laughs> huh? Stupid joke. Look, before we continue, I read over your resume, and, uh, I don't think this is gonna be a good fit for you. Okay, look, I get it, I do. This is about happened earlier, right? When you parked a little too close to me. I know I got a little too heated and I'm sorry about that. You, you do get that you did park a little too close, right? And, and I couldn't even get my- Let me stop you right there. There's no shot you're getting this job. Yeah, I figured. Hello? Joe! Thank you for coming by. You're a godsend. <laughs> what? Was I just gonna sit around and relax today? I do love your humor. I needed a bright spot in my day. The divorce has been so hard on me. Uh, so we are doing the boxes? Right. Uh, the boxes are in the front yard and I will need them brought down to the basement. Well, I'll let you get to it. Oh, okay. I guess it's more of like a one-person thing. Gotcha. Oh, here it is! Joe, take a break and come look at this. Uh, okay, I just finished up here anyway. My mother, God rest her soul, painted this beautiful portrait of my father. Look at the detail. And can you believe the woman was totally colorblind? She painted through the arthritis and dementia to leave our family this beautiful heirloom. It's breathtaking, don't you think? Eh, sure. What was that? N nothing, nothing. It wasn't nothing. You shrugged. It's just, and it's not a big deal, but something seems a little, eh, just a tiny bit off. Off? What do you mean? Well, I guess his head just looks a little big for his body. Uh, not to put down your mom's painting skills, I'm sure she was fine, but uh, your dad looks like a bobblehead in this. No, he doesn't. Yeah, he does. And what's wrong with his shoulders? They're like half the size of his head. Well, I don't see it. Was uh, was your dad a macrocephalic? You know, he, was he, did he have a big head? But other than that though, it's, you know, it's a nice painting. Uh, anyway, I'm, I'm gonna go finish the boxes. Hey man, ready to go to lunch? What the hell did you do? I asked you to help my grandma move some boxes and instead you insult our family heirloom? What are you talking about? 
You made fun of my great-grandmother's painting that's been in our family for three generations. Uh, first of all, when you say I helped her move boxes, she didn't touch a single box. I mean, not one. The boxes? That's what you're worried about right now? Uh, what do you even mean that I made fun of the painting? Did you or did you not ask if my great-grandfather was a macrocephalic? Yeah, it means big head. I thought his head looked a little big in the painting. I know that because he was one. Was he really? Yeah. Eh, I called it. Why the hell would you even ask that? I, I thought deformity was like pregnancy. You could ask, but eh, you better be right. Yeah, well, you were. And my grandma's pissed. Your grandma was bragging about her mom's painting skills. And, and let's be honest here, it wasn't anything special. Couldn't you have just said, wow, great painting, and left it at that? Well, since you've insulted the legacy of my great-grandparents, my grandma doesn't want me hanging out with you anymore. The only way I can see us fixing this is if you go apologize to her. Dude, I, how do you have to go apologize to this job interview guy and, and now your grandma on top of that? Come on, she's very old fashioned. A sincere face-to-face -face apology might help make things right. Fine, fine, I'll apologize to her. Good, come by later today. Oh, and you should bring her a gift. I'm um, thinking eggs from your chickens. Eggs? Yeah, you have chickens and my grandma loves eggs. A gesture like that would go a long way towards rectifying the situation. Fine. I'll bring your grandma some eggs. Joe? What are you doing here? Look, I just wanted to come by and apologize. We clearly got off on the wrong foot. You know what? That's really respectable of you. Well, look, I'll level with you. I'm here because this job's at the top of my very short, some might even say non-existent, job search list. There's really not much I can do for you. We filled the position you applied for. Oh. Look, give me your application. If any other positions open up, you'll be my first call. Why do you have eggs in your backpack? Uh, they're from my farm. You, uh, you live on a farm? Yeah, we've got, uh, chickens, horses, goats. In kindergarten, I was making farm animal noises at a fifth grade level. Well, I'll tell you what, bringing me these eggs was very thoughtful. The, the eggs are actually for... Well, I, uh, I hope you enjoy them. You know, typically we wouldn't do this, but we might be able to make an exception. Really? No kidding. By the way, are these organic? Sure are. Is that so? Well, I guess we can skip the formalities. You start Monday. Works for me. Hey, Grandma, great news. Joe just stopped by to apologize. For desecrating the memory of my beloved parents? Eh, de desecrating seems a little harsh. Could we demote that to tarnishing? My mother worked countless hours on that painting, and let me tell you, it wasn't easy, what with her collapsed lung and all. Your parents were pretty sick people, huh? G great, so uh, we're all settled. Uh, apology accepted? Well, where are the eggs? Honey, you said he was bringing eggs from his farm. Well, it's kind of funny. I was just with this guy who interviewed me for a job and he thought the eggs were for him, so he kind of took them. Did you forget the eggs? No, I'm telling the truth. I'm not accepting your apology until I get those eggs. What is it about these eggs that gets people so fired up? 
Joe, you need to go home and get more eggs right now. I told you, I already gave away the ones for your grandma. Just go to your chicken coop and get some more. Well, it's not so simple. Chickens only lay a finite number of eggs per day. Well, you gotta figure out a way to make this right. I'll tell you what, here's what I'm gonna do. I'll go to the store, I'll get some eggs, and she won't even know the difference. Are you sure she won't be able to tell? Relax. What could go wrong? <laughs> Joe, what are you doing? Are those eggs? No, 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 I... Okay, I get how this looks, I do. Those eggs you gave me earlier, were those store-bought too? No, 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 see, the eggs I gave you were from my farm. They were supposed to be an apology gift from my friend's grandma. I made fun of her deformed, deceased dad. It's a whole thing. But, but look, you took the eggs that were meant for her. Sure, that's a great story. Come on, I'm telling the truth. Uh, by the way, I'll, uh, I'll see you on Monday. Eh, figured. As requested, one carton of farm fresh eggs. They're cold. If they're straight out of your chicken coop, shouldn't they be warm? Well, typically you'd be right. But since I run a little hot, I had the air conditioning cranked up in my car. Why do I get the feeling you two are pulling something on me? Grandma, you're being ridiculous. The eggs are from his chickens. Well, I know one way to find out. These eggs are store-bought. Oh, honestly, I'm actually a little insulted you'd even accuse me of that. No, I personally watched each one of these eggs fall out of a chicken. I have an overdeveloped sense of taste, and I am certain these eggs are store-bought. <gasps> Joe, is this true? Okay, this didn't work. You gotta go. What the hell, man? You got me running around town all day, and I lost my new job because of you. You know what? We're not friends anymore. You don't mean that. Well, maybe I do this time. Yeah, I'm sure you've got people just lined up to be your friend. Well, you, you got me there, but I'm still really mad at you. And, and these are coming with me. No, they're staying here. You know what, man? You can keep these. I, I just remembered I'm a vegan anyway. I'll see you tomorrow. Oh, by the way, did I come with a coat? You know what? Just get it to me tomorrow. <laughs>